Repair Clinic encourages you to perform this procedure safely. In this video, we will show one or more of these icons to alert you when to use caution. Before you begin, be sure you turn off the power supply to your dishwasher. Your first step is to pull out the lower dish rack. Next, unscrew the retainer to release the lower wash arm. Pull off the water supply tube from the old pump and motor assembly. Remove the screws to release the lower access panels. Use pliers to squeeze the clamp to release the drain hose. Be prepared for some water to spill out. Unscrew the check valve to remove. As well as the counterbalance. Disconnect the grounding wire, motor wires, and the thermistor wires. Rotate the pump mounting tabs to release the old assembly. And pull it out of the dishwasher. You're now ready to install the new pump and motor assembly. Be aware that if your old pump outlet looks like this, you will need to install the new version of it to replace the outlet already mounted to the new assembly. With the correct outlet in place, transfer the coarse filter from the old assembly to the new one. Use a wet cloth to clean the sump opening. Apply liquid dish soap or rinse aid to the assembly gasket and insert the new assembly into the sump opening, making sure it's positioned correctly and seated evenly. Rotate the mounting tabs to secure the assembly. Reconnect the thermistor wires the grounding wire, and the motor wires, using the new harness if necessary. Reinstall the counterbalance, as well as the check valve. Reattach the drain hose and secure with the clamp. Realign the water supply tube and slide it onto the new pump outlet. Replace the lower wash arm and secure it with the retainer. Make sure the wash arm spins freely. Restore power to the dishwasher and check for leaks. If no leaks are visible, replace the lower access panels. Secure the screws and replace the lower dish rack. 